Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Musical Pants and today I will show you how to add a grid to separate your singers in your virtual choir video and do just some final editing as well. So you will notice now all my audio is edited, all the tracks are aligned. What I also did at the very bottom is I added the piano in the way I aligned it so I had all my singing aligned. So this was fairly easy. So I just found a place in the piano. So I played the track and then I just found a place where I knew that the singing needed to start. So um, I marked it, pressed M for the marker and that created this little marker here. And then I did the same thing in just one of my um, voices actually, because all the others are aligned already. So I found that starting place right here. And then I just aligned them the same as I did all my voices in my previous video about how to audio edit this. All right, now the next thing is going to be creating a grid. The easiest way for us to create the grid is to use simple grid X plugins, which are free plugins and can be downloaded on the website that I'm going to post in the description sh description section. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna share a video right next to it on how to install the plugins and then where they appear. All right, so now that I already did all of that, I had my plugins, I go to my top corner right here, top to the left. I have my titles and generators. I click on generators and I'm gonna go click right here. So now I have the simple grid X pro. I'm going to click on it, drag and drop. And I'm just going to make it as long as my videos are because I want to make sure that I have this grid throughout the whole video and not just for a part of it because then it would look ugly. Now you will see that you have different lines. What I'm going to do is, so I have 12 videos. So I want 12 squares. What you can do, you can resize this any way you want. You can just press T and you can make it smaller. You can make it larger depending on how much screen you want it to cover. I am just going to make it covering the whole screen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the amount of little squares here. So I'm going to go and set this up for one, two, three, four. So I'm going to have, there we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, there we go. Four times three. And that's going to help me. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the line color. I'm going to leave for now green because I like how light it is. And it's going to be very easy to see it with um, any color that, you know, your singers might have different backgrounds and so on. This is a little bit easier because it's all one color. So black could potentially work, but with your singers, bright color is a lot better. So I'm just going to change the thickness and I'm going to make it, you know what, pretty this thick. I like that. Maybe just even a little bit more. There we go. And now get ready for a lot of cropping and transforming of your photos. So the first thing I just do, I'm already on my transforming function, so I can click right here, click crop. So I'm just going to approximately crop my first video. And I'm going to just transform it. And I can just go crop again. I can just press shift C just a little bit faster process. So because all of my, all of my videos are the same size or vertical, I record them from the same, um, um, distance. It's a lot easier to do this. You will notice that when you're doing this with your singers, it's a lot more time consuming. So there you go. Almost here. There you go. And I'm just going to crop one more time. Better. There we go. And we have one done. 
and now we do this with 11 more All right, and I'm done. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change this grid color. So I'm right here. So I'm going to go and change the line color to you can do anything from, you know, purple to green to white to whatever you want. White looks kind of nice. I'm just going to go with the black. I just kind of like the dark black. And you will notice that there's some parts some videos now that are not quite perfect so I would just need to go then let's go back to transform and just fix those a little bit maybe just a little cropping um, and that's a fairly easy fix um, so um, you can do that as well then um, there we go so when that's all fixed um, the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to add the title and that's very simple R right where I have the generators. I also have the titles on top. There's different ways that you can add credits built in, built out, all sorts of things. I personally kind of like the assembler. It's pretty fun. So I'm just going to need to make sure that I put it in front of my timeline, the main video, the main um, track right here. So then click on it and I'm just going to write the title and I'm, I'm just going to write, you know, virtual choir and then you just change to whatever you want to change. And then my next last thing will be so you notice that I still have all these claps in here. So I don't want those claps. So I want to make sure that I get rid of that. So I'm just going to make my first main f video shorter, which will mean there we go. And now I'm just going to go from there and I'm going to start making all the other ones shorter. Now make sure that they're not shorter than where the singing starts. What I like to do as well, I just like to play around with like when they start. So maybe I'll have like three different starts or four different starts. And then they all, there we go. And I'm going to go, this one is going to start same as the first one. This will start same as the second one. Same as the third one. And you see how the snapping really helps all the time that it just aligns quickly. I don't even need to look up that much. There we go. And the last two. There we go. And the effect now is pretty sweet. It kind of looks like this. I'm also going to change the simple, the grid. I need to make sure that it's not too long because then it would go over the title. So this is what it looks like. And then my piano starts playing down here. And while the piano starts playing, we slowly start appearing. And you can play this, you know, around even more. I mean, do any entrance the way you want it. And then you can do the same thing with your exits. If you have some videos that are longer, that are shorter, you will notice that here, some of the videos are actually gonna, some of us disappeared already. So some still there and then it slowly start, starts disappearing. So you can do this your own way, the way you want it. And congratulations, you are done and you finished your first virtual choir. Uh, just to give you a heads up, a new video is coming up soon. Uh, this time I will give you a fast review of my whole workflow. So from the very, very beginning, importing everything through all the editing, video, audio, and then just final cuts and final edits. Thanks guys, everyone for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.